Hello guys, our topic is about number system and I will be discussing binary and on this tutorial I will be showing you the conversion to binary to decimal, binary to hexadecimal, lastly we have binary to octal. But first we need to describe what is a binary. Binary is a number system presented by numeric values using two numbers we have 0 and 1 and the binary system is used internally by all modern computers okay basic binary that we need to memorize is the power of 2 wherein 0 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1 2 raised to the power of 1 is equivalent to 2 so as follows na lang yan hanggang sa 2 raised to the power of 8 is equal to 2, 5, 6. So ito yung para maging benchmark natin na conversion table. Next. Okay. I will be discussing binary to decimal. And then nilagay ko na dito sa ating kwan yung ating conversion table. We have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 1, 2, 8. So, hindi lang siya nag end sa 1, 2, 8. Pwedeng umabot siya hanggang thousands or what. It depends upon the digit of the binary na ipapakonvert sa inyo into decimal. Okay? Okay. Our first example is 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So, paano natin makukuha ang kanyang decimal value? So, ang gagawin lang natin, from the right, lalapat lang natin yung 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. Then, we have 0, then 1. Okay? So, Yung may mga value na 0 na nilapat natin, so i-cancel out natin yung mga yan. Wherein, hindi natin siya kailangan i-add. Ang kailangan lang natin i-add is yung may mga value ng 1. Okay? So, 2 plus 8 is equivalent to 10. 10 plus 16 is 26. 26 plus 64 is equal to 90. So, our decimal value for that binary is 90 another example is 11011 one, one, one. so erase lang natin siya erase lang natin yung mga pinaglalagay natin muna because we need to convert okay lapat ulit natin 1101 1 then cancel out number 4 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 right 3 plus 8 is equal to 11 11 plus 16 is equal to 27 so simple as that kung paano tayo mag convert ng binary to decimal next we'll be converting from binary to hexadecimal uh, forgive me for this one hindi na natin na edit yung kanyang animation okay next is I'll be, be showing you the value wherein we have only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 then uh, we replace 10 to 15 by letters wherein 10 is equivalent to A 11 is to B 13 is to C 14 13 it 10 is to A, 11 is to B, 12 is to C, 13 is to D, 14 is to E, F is to 15. Then our conversion table falls into 4. Why? Because in hexadecimals, we only need 4. 4 uh, digits in binary. We're in sa decimal, we need 8. 8 digit. So, paano natin gagawin yun? So, ito yung first example natin. Hatiin natin siya within 4. 
Okay, flash na rin yan para malaman. Then, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ayan, this is first example. Then, may nasobrang isa. Let, ayan lang natin siya dyan. Okay. So, paano ulit yan? Ilalapat lang natin yan. 1, 2, 4, 8. One, two, four, eight. Then, ito yung natitira. Ayan lang natin dyan. Okay. Cross out the zero. One, or two plus, two plus four is equal to six. Six plus eight is equivalent to, okay, eight. Plus 6 is equivalent to 14. 14. Ano bang equivalent ng 14? 14 sa ating x decimal. 14 is equivalent to letter E. So, we change this to letter E. Then, next we have 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Then, ito yung natitirang 1. If we just need to bring that 1 down. Okay. Our for example is equal to equivalent to 1, 6, And letter E. Okay. Next example. Same, same lang ginawa natin. We need 2. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We need 2. Cut it into 4 digits. Lapat din natin siya. 1, 2, 4, 8. 1, 2, 4, 8. Okay, first we have 1 plus 2 is equivalent to 3. Then 3 plus 8 is equivalent to, okay, what is equivalent? 11. And then 11, 11 is equivalent to, Letter V. Okay. Okay, next is we have crosses out. Next would be we have 8 plus 4 is equivalent to 12. So, anong 12 dito? We have C. 12 is equivalent to letter C. So, our hexadecimal value is C and D. That's all. Easy. Easy lang. Easy. Next is binary to octal. Okay. So, uh, I have here the conversion table. So, pinadali na lang natin para mas madali. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I write the binary value para mas madali natin. Ano. We're in sa, bi sa octal. Uh, we need only 3 digits. Okay. Paano yung 3 digit na sinasabi ko? We need to cut this into 3. First, we have yan, the 3. 3 and 3. So, ang gagamitin naman natin dito is 1, 2, 4. Kung kanina sa exa, we need, we need 4. So, from 1, 2, 4, 8. Ang kinukuha natin. Now, dito sa octal, we need only 3. So, we get only 1, 2, and 4. So, sa yung lang yung ginawa natin kayo na ilapat natin. 1, 2, 4. 1, 2, 4. 1, 2, 4. So, cancel out the zeros. Okay, lagyan natin ng gulit dito para mas madaling tignan. Then, ang natira lang is 4. 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. So, ang ating size is dito po. So, we have 5, 1, and 4. Okay? Next, um, try naman natin to. Itong side na to, itong conversion table na ginawa ko. Or, uh, ilagay ko. We have 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. Paano? Hatiin ulit natin sa 3. Then, hatiin natin ng 3. Oops, kulang tayo dito. So, kung kulang na ganyan, idagdagan lang natin ng zero. Yan. So, tatlo na sila. So, ano ba ang value ng 111? Ano bang may 111 dyan? 
So, ito may 111. So, ilagay natin is 7. Then, we have 110. 110 is 6. Lastly, we have 011. 011 is equivalent to 3. So, ang ano natin is 3, 6, 7. So, yun yung octal na. Okay? Last example, we have 1, ay, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Where in natin ulit ang isang 3. So, kompleto naman siya. Okay. 0, 10. 0, 10 is equivalent to 2. 0, 0, 1 is equivalent to 1. 1, 0, oh, 1 is equivalent to 5. So, our octal value is 5, 1, 2. So, simple as that. Kung paano ko makuha ang binary to octal. Okay. Sana maintindihan nyo in easy way. Okay. Next. Okay, next slide. This will be the last slide. I, I will giving you, okay, 30 items quiz. We're in you, this binary. You need to convert that into decimal, hexadecimal, and octal. Okay, within 15 minutes, you can finish this. I know. 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. And yung sagot niya dapat kung magagawa niyo within 20 minutes, challenge yourself. Huwag mo nang titignan yung sagot. Okay, ito yung sagot niya. Para mas madalaan kayo. Okay, thank you for watching.